Hey everyone, I'm up here on the uh, coast of New Hampshire going to do another little rock hunting video. I've been getting into uh, the rock tumbling over the summer. So uh, let's we'll see what we can find here today. There's a lot of nice different varieties of quartz and uh, there's a few pieces of jasper so keep my eye out for some good stuff to tumble and later on in the week I'll show you uh, some of the stuff that I have tumbling right now. So I just found this piece here. It's a quartz type. Looks like it has some smoky quartz in it. I basically I look for uh, like pretty designs. I mostly look for uh, quartzites. Very rare to find agates in the part of uh, New England I'm in. They uh. There's some carnelian ones around, but on the coast here, they're very rare. It's mostly just uh, different quartz and jaspers, but still quite a variety of quartz. There's uh, smoky quartz, amethyst even, so. It's got this interesting quartz formation here. It looks like it has uh, lots of mica in it as well. A few pieces of mica anyway. Pretty neat banding going on. It's not an agate though, it's just a little different way it formed. Still pretty cool though. That one would be worth uh, tumbling a few times, see if it uh, keeps some of those pretty designs. I like it. Get this interesting one here. It's got uh, lots of mica. Looks like it might have had some uh, smoky quartz crystals coming off the top there. Yeah, lots of smoky quartz in New England. Get this quartz here. I love these bands going through it. It's halfway around it already, but it's got these pits here. I'll probably still polish it off though. I really love those bands. Maybe do the first, uh, the first phase of the tumble with some borax. Clean some of that surface off a little bit. some moss in there, I don't know. Just got my first bit of jasper here. It's not red jasper, but it's the yellow jasper. I'll have to do an all jasper batch, I think, with my reds and purples and throw this in. This neat one here. Uh, I'm not too sure what the uh, the orange parts are in it. I do see some quartz in it as well. Yeah, it's one that's gonna have to come home and go on the tumbler. See what it looks like after the first phase of polishing. Okay, I think I'm about ready to wrap things up here. Let's go over this last piece I found. It's a nice piece of uh, quartz, interesting color for quartz. Some smoky quartz in there, but it's like a 
It's a dark green. I'm very, uh, very interested to see what color it comes out after the first tumble. That's pretty cool. But yeah, I'll continue this video later in the week when I show you the uh, what it looks like after the second phase of my uh, tumble I got going on now. Okay, so I'm back home now. I'm gonna show you the uh, the rocks I've been tumbling. I'm about to rinse them off after they've been through the second phase. It's always pretty cool to watch, so it goes. That red one is the red jasper I found on uh, my beach a couple weeks ago. Some purple jasper there in the middle. Feldspar. It's coming out pretty good. So far, so good, so. Why is that purple quartz? It's got some red in it, too. I mean, jasper, sorry. I might set those aside and just, uh, I'm gonna do the final polish and just polish them together, all the jasper together. So that's the second phase of tumbling. Um, I'll probably another, make another rock hounding video if I can. Um, I'd like to try to get up north to some of the mountain rivers and uh, get some of the rocks up there. But yep, that's what I got so far for phase two. Um, maybe when they come out of phase three, I'll uh, make another video and show you how they're coming along then. But thanks for watching, everybody.